In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your lag on your PS5 or fix your latency issues. So we're gonna do a few things here, but first we're gonna go right into our settings. So scroll up and go to the cog wheel for settings in the top right, and then go into your network settings. And then here in your network settings, go to settings, go to set up internet connection and then go to the internet you want to connect with and click the options button on your PS5 controller. And then here, there's a few different things we're gonna try. Let's go to Wi-Fi frequency bands, set to automatic. You can set this to five gigahertz or 2.4. This is dependent upon what your router is capable of. Five is better and a stronger signal, but if it's not compatible or if you're far away or still having issues, you can toggle either one just to test this out to see what's working better. And then we're gonna to go to advanced settings. In the, in the advanced settings, scroll down to your DNS settings. It's set to automatic. We're gonna go ahead and click that and we're gonna click manual. So we have the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. As you can see, I've made no changes to this. So we're gonna test two different ones. There's the Google servers and then there's the Cloudflare servers. So we're gonna click on the primary DNS and for Google, it is 8.8.8.8. .8. And then the secondary DNS for Google is 8.8.4.4. Done. And so then you can go ahead and click OK and try that setting. Another setting is for Cloudflare. And you can change this to 1.1. 1.1, so all ones as the primary DNS, and then the secondary DNS is 1.0.0.1. So you can try those two options. See if Google or the Cloudflare DNS are gonna either work for you better. And then the last thing you can check is the MTU settings. Set this to manual, it's defaulted at 1500, but you can try and lower this to 1450 to see if that helps improve any of your latency, your packet loss that you're experiencing. Um, if that doesn't seem to be working, you can always change it back to 1500. I'm going to leave mine at 1500 because my internet's pretty good. So then once you're done changing those settings, click OK, and then it'll connect to the internet through your router. And then you can go back to your game that you were having issues with and then test it out. So I recommend trying those different DNS options, seeing which one works best for you. So that's how you can fix lag on your PS5. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this fixed your issue. Thanks for tuning in.